Hi, so today we are going to learn how you can create amazing presentations using Canva tool. Canva.com is a very nice tool and it uh, apart from providing you templates for Facebook uh, cover images, post images, LinkedIn images, it gives you a very nice functionality to create presentations. So let's start uh, creating amazing presentations using Canva tool. So the first thing to do here is uh, you need to open up canva.com and here I have opened canva.com and I need to find the templates so on the left hand side you will find a find template option and it will give you templates for different things and when you will scroll down you will find an option for presentations let me find okay here it is and here are different free templates provided by canva.com for creating some really nice presentations for your brand so these are different options that are available so first thing first you need to find a particular content that you wish to create a presentation and I have got an article uh, which I want to convert into presentation so what I'll do is I'll select one of the templates uh, for creating this particular presentation let me find okay all are really nice but uh, I'll go with uh, this one because this one looks really you know bright orange color bright yellow color green color good combination and it kind of relates to the particular article that I am or the presentation that I am looking to create so it it's related to that right so it will show you it will in the preview section and you can see the different type of slides that are available for you to create in uh, canva.com okay let's start the process so here we have uh, we are having the basic template and uh, we can make changes in it okay here's the article that I am trying to convert and I'll simply copy and paste the title and uh, paste it down here okay double click and simply copy paste the article now what I can do is I can make changes in this heading also So basically Canva provides you really nice templates that you can edit very easily according to your requirements and you can change the fonts, the colors, everything you can change. And these predefined templates are just like you know cream over everything, cream over the cake what we call it. So I am trying to make it a little bigger because I want my heading to be you know promptly visible uh, through a distance and here uh, one thing to remember here is that I need to mention the brand which I'm trying to promote so we can mention the website here if we want to we can mention the website here great we have written that it's presented by a particular brand okay so now let's move to uh, creating the different slides and since we are having uh, different points in the original article so we can convert those points into different slides that way this presentation will look really nice and informative and interesting too so let's see what different points we are having so this is the first point that we are having and uh, we can change the heading here to tomato let's copy paste the content here replace it and we can convert it into points also 
but one thing to know here is that uh, we are not having different images like I, I don't want to use multiple images like they have used it here I, I just want to use only one single image here and that too should be clip art so what I'll do is I'll delete these images I want this green background all over the remaining space So I can simply you know, remove this particular section. Okay, so we are good now, and uh, we are having the green background like I wanted. And uh, now I have to place the image also, right? So where should we place the image? What I'll do is I'll try to search for clip art for tomato. Okay. So fine, we are having a lot of options here. Let's choose one of them. And if you write PNG along with that, then sometimes you know what happens is that Google shows you all those images which are having their background removed. And this image kind of looks great because it's, uh, first of all, it's graphic form and uh, sort of drawing and secondly its background is removed so i can use it directly without making any changes changes in the original image so uh where's the option to bring that image okay we can upload the image from our computer here upload your own image okay let's find that image nice so simply we'll click on it and bring that image here now one thing to remember in order to resize you can simply resize it without using any shift key uh, while i was creating the infographic using pictochart then i had to use shift key while resizing images but in this case with canva.com you don't need to use the shift key while resizing images because it maintains the original dimensions or the ratio of length and width of images while resizing so this is nice thing about canva.com which I found. Since I created uh, one infographic uh, related on the same topic so I can use the points from there only. So I can simply duplicate this slide now and instead of creating all together new slide I can simply duplicate it. So now the second point which is related to chili peppers I will change the heading here. Great. Looks good. Great. We can duplicate the slide now. And there should be an option to save uh, this particular presentation, I think. It's really necessary that you should save your work alongside. So let me find. Okay. Under the file section, there is a section for saving the work that you are doing
Now let's come to the final section, which is uh, mentioning a little bit about our brand, or you can say we can mention our brand because we have done all this hard work, uh, created or shared this beautiful content with other people uh, just for our promotion. So at least people should know about our brand, the brand which is behind this uh, particular creation. So what we can do is we can try to see what we can include here so first uh, thing first we can include the logo brand logo here So now our uh, presentation is almost complete and we can try to download it. First save it and then we can download it. So let's see what options we are having. Okay, in PDF version we can download it or in the image format. So first we'll try the PDF. And we can also you know get a link to share it with other people so here's the second option of sharing it with your client for review if you want to show them and third option is to download all the slides in the form of images Now let's create a blank PPT from Microsoft PowerPoint, add blank slides here, copy paste, copy paste, copy paste, add more slides first of all. Now what we can do is simply go to insert uh, and insert an image option under Microsoft PowerPoint and search for the image that we need to add here. Now similarly we can add all other slides that we have created add them one by one and you're on your way to create the presentation in the form of Microsoft PowerPoint format PPT format what we call as so here we have the final presentation in the form of PPT So you can see here now we have the PDF version, we have got the images format and we have got the PPT format. So I hope that this video was helpful to you and you will be creating some really nice presentations now using Canva tool. Thanks for watching this video and being with me.